For 12 years, our policies have been based on false information, and we don't want to live in that world. We want our policies to be based on sound evidence. Did you know Third Tower fell on 9-11? World Trade Center Building 7 is a 47-story skyscraper that collapsed late in the afternoon of September 11th. And although there was media coverage of it when it happened, there's been very little attention given to it since that day. I think we have all the story, two big towers, and then like whatever else got beat up around it. Right, yeah, exactly. Is there something we don't know? Unlike all the other anomalies of 9-11, which are difficult to piece together, Building 7 collapsed at free fall, and it wasn't hit by a plane. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires fueled by office furnishings. And if the official story is true, this is the first time in history that a steel frame skyscraper has collapsed, supposedly due to fires. It's impossible for a 47-story skyscraper to collapse symmetrically unless all the columns have been removed simultaneously on each floor. The only way that a building can accelerate as it collapses is by having pre-engineered, precisely timed and precisely placed explosives. In other words, controlled demolition. Molten steel running down the channel rails. When people first start learning that the official story of 9-11 doesn't add up, it can be a very frightening experience. And I think the power of Rethink 9-11 is that it shows them that it's okay. That once they get over that initial shock, there's a vision for how we can address this issue. If everyone in the United States sees the collapse of Building 7, there will be widespread outcry for a new investigation. Rethink 9-11 is a global ad campaign with grassroots actions all across the planet. People around the world are starting to get it, but the mainstream media in the US is not covering this issue. And so it's up to us to put the issue in front of the people. So on September 11th, we had events happening all day in New York City. Richard Gage and a lot of our supporters started off at Ground Zero, then they went to the New York City Council, which is just up the street from Ground Zero, and dropped off pamphlets and information to New York City's 51 council members. From there, they went to Democracy Now!, then they went to New York Times, Fox News, NBC, MSNBC, CBS, BBC. They're making it known to these news organizations that this issue is not going away. It's actually only getting bigger. Rethink 9-11. It's a global campaign that spans from Australia to Canada, from San Francisco to right here in New York City. And we think that if most of the public becomes aware of Building 7's collapse, that more and more people will start to question uh, what we've been told, and more and more people will start looking into the huge body of evidence that has been assembled, which shows that the official account can't be true. Extra, extra, read all about it. Have you heard of Building 7 before? Check out our billboard on the corner. The story the Times missed. Rethink911.org, guys. Extra, extra. 2,000 architects and engineers proven that Building 7 was brought down in controlled demolition. Have a nice day. The story of Building 7 has been swept under the rug by media. And that's why we are buying ads and we are making videos and sharing them. All we need to do is to keep the ball rolling. Sign the petition at Rethink911.org. Donate to the campaign if you can to keep the ads going. On our own, we don't have a whole lot of power, but if we work together, we can raise awareness. We can do what the media is not doing. Share this video, sign our petition, donate if you can. Together we can do this.